Carl Willis here. I want to separate for you today network marketing fact from fiction. Uh, this is something I wrote about on my blog this morning. One of the things you find with network marketing is there is a lot of talk out in the marketplace, some of it true, some of it not so true. So I wanted to break down some of the more common things that you're likely to hear in the marketplace. One of the first ones is, is this a scam? Is this one of those pyramid scheme things? And so one of the things that we need to come to understanding about is what exactly is truly a pyramid scheme or a Ponzi scheme as it's uh, known most of the time. This is simply a, an exchange of money in which no goods or services are traded that benefits the person running the scheme. Uh, Bernie Madoff is a great example of that. He was replacing new investors, or excuse me, old investors' monies with new investors' monies. There actually was not any earnings taking place, but it's a common thing that is referred to. And the truth of the matter is there are companies that enter the network marketing industry that claim to be network marketing companies that do get shut down you know, because they are running a Ponzi type scheme, meaning people are exchanging money, but there is no good or service being offered simply the promise of greater earnings. And so that's what would make a business a scheme. What you'll find in most network marketing companies, they are direct sales companies, meaning they just sell direct to the consumer through a consumer-based sales force. And there is a product or service that is being offered in exchange for money. And then compensation, of course, being paid to the representatives who are introducing the customer to that product or service. Second thing that comes up is, can I get rich in the first 30 days of my network marketing business? Well, the reality is that's false also. While there are some exceptional stories of exceptional individuals who make large fortunes very quickly, that really isn't the norm. And the norm is, this is a business like any other business. The only difference being it is a lower cost of entry and a person can get into profit quicker than they might be able to get into profit in a traditional brick and mortar type business. But the same work ethic applies. A person is going to have to be diligent in building their business and talking to prospects, developing a customer base, making presentations to that customer base, and then taking care of their customers. That's all part of the equation and that does take time. So coming into a network marketing business, you need to have a realistic understanding of what time frames and time horizons you're going to be dealing with. Some people, again, can build very quickly. Others, it takes a number of years for them to really get into their stride. But the chance that you have with a network marketing business is you don't have the huge initial outlay. Whereas you might have in buying a, a traditional franchise where you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, to start that franchise. Most network marketing companies, you're going to be able to start uh, anywhere from less than $100 on up to about $2,000. And so the point of entry is really very low. Third thing that comes in, can I get rich just talking to my friends and family? Well, you know, talking with your friends and family, your warm market is really just the place to get you started. It's the place to get you started talking to people without having the fear factor. These are people who already know you, who like you, and hopefully trust you as well. But the reality is to really build a substantial business, you're going to have to talk to people outside of that warm market. And this is where learning to market becomes so important. This is one of the things that I teach you in my seven day boot camp is how to get beyond that warm market, how to really get out there into the marketplace and draw people to you magnetically. So you're going to want to check that out. But the truth is you're going to want to build a prospect list. And so marketing is going to be a consistent piece of what you do each and every day. In fact, it will be one of the primary things you do each and every day, getting in contact with new people, putting you in front of people who have not heard your message before, who are just being introduced to you for the first time. And so those are things that are extremely critical to you. So these are just a few of the fallacies you're going to find. Uh, I hope you'll consider this as you're thinking about a network marketing business. It's a great business. It's a business that has allowed me freedom 
uh, to continue my ministry work, to travel the world. It's allowed me to do a lot of things that I, I couldn't do before. In fact, it's the, the very vehicle that I use to go from being homeless uh, to getting back on my feet again. So I want to encourage you, if you're looking to get started in network marketing, maybe you find yourself a little stuck, uh, go through my seven-day boot camp. It's free to you. It's a service that I offer just to give you some of the secrets that I've learned along the way, help you avoid some of the, the pitfalls and mistakes that so many people fall into. The link is below this video, so I look forward to getting to know you in the days to come.